iOS 18.6 has now been released for a few days and it's a great update. Even though it doesn't bring a lot of new features and changes to iOS, it is still a really important update as it will be most likely the last big update for a lot of users that have a device that doesn't support the new iOS 26. So in today's video, we're taking a look at this update and I will show you guys a few different tips and tricks that will help you improve the battery life of your iPhone on the new iOS 18.6 and we're starting things off with the update. Now a lot of people of course will install betas of iOS softwares and if you're one of those that had a beta of iOS 18.6 on your device, the first thing you want to make sure is that you have updated your device to the latest iOS 18.6 release. So make sure you're out of the beta and you have installed the latest iOS 18.6 on your device. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you also have updated all of your apps. Usually when a new update gets released for iOS, like a big one like this one, there will be a ton of apps releasing also updates for the apps to be more compatible with that update, especially the more popular apps. So make sure you have all of your apps up to date. You can check that by going to, to your app store, go to your account and you will see the updates right here. You can go ahead and update all of your apps or if you don't want to bother with that, you can always head on to your settings and from here go to the app section, you will have the app store right here at the top and make sure you have enabled app updates for the automatic downloads and then the apps will of course be updated automatically once a new update is out so you don't have to bother with checking your apps and updating them manually. Now when it comes to apps, another thing you should check is the battery usage. So when you go under the battery section right here, you will see a list of apps that are using your battery. Not you won't see any here because I don't actually use this device, I just use it for these iOS 18.6 videos. But you will see the apps right here that are draining the battery of your iPhone and you can see the list of apps it shows you how much battery they have used and how long you have used the apps for. Now, if you see an app here that doesn't actually hasn't be used, been used a lot, but it's still consuming a ton of battery, then it's time for you to remove that app from your device and maybe just replace it with a better, better alternative from the app store. Next one will be haptics. Now haptics are actually really important. The haptic engine on your device will consume a ton of battery. So head on under sounds and haptics right here. You will have a section for haptics and this is probably the worst option you can choose to always play haptics. So you get notifications, haptics, everything will be haptics just consuming a ton of battery. What I suggest you do is use this one, play on silent mode. This is probably the best option. So the haptics will be played only when your device is on silent mode. So when it's not, you will have the sound. Of course, you don't need the haptics. Now, if you just don't wanna have any haptics at all, you can always choose never play. Now the same goes here for music. So if you go under accessibility and you go right here to music haptics, you will have this option that you can enable right here. And basically it would it will give you a haptic feedback while playing music. Now this might be useful for a few people, but if you just don't really need this feature, make sure you have this disabled. This will drain the battery out of your iPhone. So go ahead, check this and see if it's enabled on your device make sure you have it disabled. Now right here just underneath the music haptics you will find another feature which Apple introduced with iOS 18 called the vocal shortcuts. Now what this will do is that it allows it to perform different actions using a vocal shortcut. You can go ahead and set it up right here and basically you will have, you can see right here, a ton of like different actions you can perform and you can basically just do that by simply asking your phone by just saying the shortcut that you actually add right here. So if we go ahead and add a phrase here, then I will be able to actually just invoke that action using that phrase. But of course, it will drain the battery as I have tested this and anytime it's enabled, it will keep the microphone running in the background, that way consuming a ton of battery. 
Now right here we'll find another feature. This one is sound recognition. If you go here and you have this enabled, you will have a few different sounds you can choose from. And basically what your device will do is it will just alert you when it hears one of those sounds. Now this might be useful in a few cases, but if you actually don't need this feature, I suggest that you turn it off. So if I just go ahead and just choose one of the sounds right here, I can of course even choose multiple sounds. You can see I have to allow notifications and this feature will stay active in the background, waiting for those sounds to give you notifications and alerts. So you know that any feature that does stay active in the background will use CPU power and of course will consume battery. So the best thing is to actually just turn it off completely. And also just down below that option, you will also have the settings for Siri. If you go here, you will have an option called always listen for Siri. Now what this will do is that it will basically keep your iPhone active always listening for Siri. So you know when you use the words to invoke Siri, the hey word, and the other word, it will basically do that and invoke if you have your iPhone facing up like this or if you have your iPhone in your hand. Well, with this feature enabled, that will happen all the time. It doesn't matter whether your iPhone is facing down or it might be in your pocket, in your bag, wherever it is, it will always stay listening for that word to actually evoke Siri. That means that a ton of battery is being used, so go ahead and turn this off as well. Now for people that have devices on iOS 18.6 that do support Apple intelligence, the iPhone 15 Pros and the iPhone 16 series, well I suggest you turn it off if you're not using it. Now it has some cool new features and of course it will allow you to do a lot of things but a lot of people actually have it enabled and don't actually use it. If you're one of those people that don't need the Apple intelligence features, head on to your settings, go to under Apple Intelligence and Siri and make sure you switch it off completely. Next up, head on to your settings, go under general and then go to airdrop. Now, if you don't need airdrop, if you're not using it a lot during the day, make sure you have it on receiving off and of course have bring devices together turned off, especially this one right here. Even if you want to keep like the airdrop on, make sure you have this disabled. Now this is a cool feature. It looks good. Bring devices together to share information, but most likely you have enabled this and probably used it once or twice and you don't use it anymore. It's like more practical to just, just airdrop something than actually bring devices together. So go ahead, turn this off. And if you don't really need to use airdrop a lot during the day, also keep it off and of course enable it once you need it. Next up, head on to your settings, go under privacy and security and go to location services and head on right here to the system services. So right here you will find a lot of things that will use your location. As you probably know, location is one of the things that will drain the most battery out of your iPhone. What I suggest you do, go ahead and turn these off. You will have this one right here, alerts and shortcuts automations. Then you will have things like setting a time zone. You will have like system customization. You don't need that at all. You will have device management. You don't need that. You will have compass calibration. You don't actually need that. So you can just go ahead and turn these off. Always make sure that you leave on emergency calls and SOS and of course, find my phone. And last but not least are widgets. Make sure that you don't use a ton of widgets on your home screen or your lock screen. Now a lot of widgets nowadays will require updating and will stay connected to your location or of course your data, that way consuming a ton of battery, like the news widgets, the weather widgets, all of those will stay active all the time being updated. So make sure you only use those that you actually need and remove unnecessary widgets from your home screen and lock screen. So that's basically it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and of course subscribe for more and I will see you guys on the next one.